Play action. Gonna go deep. That's Johnson, and he's got it! And Johnson to the 10. Johnson dives. He scores! Touchdown, Fresno State! From where I'm from, there's not a lot of kids, you know, that go to college or that can play D1 football or that can do this because they don't have the support system. School was big for me. My grandmother always told me that without an education, you're nobody. Um, you want to get your education because nobody can ever take your education away from you. I love where I come from, but the activities that I put them in was to keep them off the streets. The streets is tough in East Palo Alto. My thing was for them to go to school in the morning when it's dark and come home from school and it's dark and I know they're safe. Keyshawn was always ready for my games more than I was. Even before the games, he's jumping up, tapping on my shoulder pads, like, let's go, brother, like, let's go. Get, get me pumped up and everything. He always been my number one fan. He always was proud of everything I did, too. My big brother always, you know, played football before me, and so it wasn't like my first love, but I put his pads on, and I felt like it was something I felt like I could do and pursue in a, in a great way. Grass goes up to my ankles, but this is where it all started. This is where it all started at, right here. This field right here is where, you know, everything started to happen. And I, without this field, I don't know if I'd be playing football. So, you know, I'm thankful for it and thankful for everything that's been happening on this field. Like everybody supports, like everybody from East Palo Alto support people from East Palo Alto. This is the first coach. <laughs> this is the first coach. We realize we got certain jewels in this community and we gonna push them jewels to be diamonds. We make sure that these young men had a good path and for them to go on fulfill their journey in life. I'm just proud, you know. Your brother, then you. Y'all making us proud. If you guys seen Keyshawn when he was a freshman, he was very little. His coach recently sent him that from Pally. See, when he was a freshman, you see the difference? <laughs> Junior year, spring ball, I got a call and he got hurt really bad. I injured my neck, and from there, they told me that I wouldn't be able to play another down at Arizona. Like, I could transfer somewhere else and go play, but I couldn't play there again because they didn't want to risk me getting hurt. I, I'm not gonna say it was a lot of pressure on me, but I put the pressure on myself because I wanted to get my family out of the situation that we were in. Once we didn't know what was going on with my brother's situation, it just pushed me, it just motivated me, pushed me 10 times harder for him. He started me playing football, so I told him straight up that I'll go get a scholarship just for you. It was something that I wanted to do and put my mind really for it for my brother. Before my senior season, I had no scholarships, like not one. I was doing everything in the right way. I was working hard. I, was, I finally started lifting weights. Just my dad was telling me, if you're hungry, go get it. Like he was always telling me, just if you want to do something, go make the best of it. It just, something came to my head like, okay, my brother's not getting any scholarships right now, but I see the talent that he has. I see what he's doing week in and week out. And, there's not a lot of kids that could guard him on the field, so I'm like, I need to make him a highlight tape. Now, I've never done anything like this, trying to figure out how to work huddle and everything, cutting, uh, cropping and videos and everything to make his highlight tape. And it was kind of like keeping me in football, so him doing so well and like me making his highlight tape made me feel like I was still playing, because I'm like, okay, I can see my brother still doing his thing and let me help him get to where he want to go. And once I finished the highlight tape, Luckily, a lot of uh, colleges respond, and he got some scholarships, and here we are today. McMarion, deep shot, Johnson holds it in. Keyshawn Johnson over Cameron Kelly. For me, I think that was the best move that Keyshawn could have made. I think he did exactly what he was supposed to go there and do. It's kind of scary, because I didn't expect it to go as well as it's going and as far as it's going, but I'm proud, I'm happy. I just, there's no other way I can say it. I love Fresno, it's my second home. Loving that the fan base picking up now too. Make sure y'all make it out this year. It's a big season. Nothing has came easy, it's just always the work, work, work. And uh, that's what my dad keeps instilling in my head in, until now. Number three has went a long way, has opened a lot of doors for Keyshawn. I think his being humble, staying focused, and being a hard worker has really brought him far in life. Every year I just try to progress and get better, stronger, faster, whatever it could be. And, Right now, I'm at a good spot, but we gotta keep it going.